So the Radeon RX 6700 XT launched yesterday and we did have video coverage on it, but not many people seem to be too interested in it. However, in an interview with PC World, AMD reaffirmed its plans to launch Fidelity FX Super Resolution for RDNA 2 graphics cards within this year to tackle NVIDIA's DLSS. Now the information comes from the latest Full Nerd podcast with AMD's Scott Herkelman as one of the guests on the show. And it looks like the rumor mill was a bit optimistic when it said that the Fidelity FX Super Resolution feature for AMD Radeon RX GPUs based on the RDNA 2 architecture will release in spring of 2021. Now Scott Herkelman confirmed that their NVIDIA DLSS rival is still in the works and will launch this year. Scott also confirmed that the technology will be coming first to gaming PCs with the Radeon RX GPUs but will later extend to other platforms such as gaming consoles that are also powered by the RDNA 2 architecture as well. Now Nvidia got their head start with its AI based super sampling technology all the way back in 2018 when Turing based GeForce RTX 20 series was introduced. However, DLSS 1.0 had a pretty rough start and there weren't plenty of games that used the feature and while users got to see some impressive performance gains those also came at a loss of image quality which was often too blurry when compared to playing at native resolution with standard anti-aliasing methods now that changed over time and with dlss 2.0 showed the true form of the feature and is still impressive gains while retaining an almost similar image quality as the native resolution while some things even improve now the difference that DLSS makes puts the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series graphics cards a league ahead of AMD's Radeon RX 6000 series. We also now have the official acronym for AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which is FSR, as confirmed by Scott, and he also mentions that they aren't purely eyeing machine learning for FSR, but in fact, they're going to work with developers and gaming community to figure out which approach is best for them. Now, NVIDIA's DLSS relies solely on AI-assisted machine learning, which is powered by their Tensor Core GPU architecture, while AMD, who seem to have more aligned with the Microsoft Direct ML approach, could be runoff standard hardware and not specialized AI cores. In another interview posted on P in another interview posted at PC Gamer, an AMD representative confirmed that the red team does not plan on limiting the cryptocurrency mining rate for its Radeon RX GPUs, as opposed to Nvidia, who tried to limit it through software hacks, but subsequently leaked their own dev drivers that re-enabled full mining hash rates for its Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card earlier this week. Now, unlike Nvidia, AMD isn't offering a mining-specific line of GPUs, but there are rumors that they could be in the works. For cryptocurrency mining, it's Itself, AMD GPUs aren't the greatest of this generation compared to Nvidia's Ampere offerings due to the large reliance on raw bandwidth that the mining algorithms require to deliver higher hash rates. AMD's top dog, the RX 6900 XT, offers around 60 to 70 mega hash per second in Ethereum, while Nvidia's GeForce RTX 3090 can push upwards to 125 mega hash per second when tuned. Now, this makes the Ampere cards a much more lucrative investment for miners, but at the same time, due to the shortage of GPUs and increased payout of existing GPUs, have to offer, there's nothing stopping them from gobbling up even the RX 6000 series cards. All right, guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Hit the bell notification so that we don't miss you in the future. And if you want to catch out something you may have missed, hit up the links over here on this side. And we'll catch you in the next one.